You're listening to Flip Pop Radio's On the Mic with Stephanie V. Tackling the latest in entertainment, industry gossip, sports, entrepreneurship and business, fashion, and social media craziness. What's up, guys? It is me, Stephanie V. Yay! How was everybody's 4th of July? Mine was awesome, of course, as... Mexicans, we celebrated on July 3rd and July 4th, and today we're recovering from eating too much potato salad, too much beans. I had a hot dog yesterday, a hot dog the day before, and a burger. So yes, I did go work out yesterday in this screeching heat, And um, but how was yours? Did you eat a lot? Did you go swimming? Did you see the fireworks? Um, We try to see the fireworks, but of course, every year we go downtown Houston because my sister lives in the Heights area, and every year we get it wrong as to where they're actually showing the fireworks. So we can always see like maybe one firework here, one firework there, but we always get it wrong. So um, yeah, maybe next year (laughs) we'll find the other perfect place for it to actually see the fireworks, but it doesn't matter because we're all with family. And we're celebrating a special holiday. So what else, you know? And awesome food. My mom made these um, chocolate chip cookies that were about as big as my face. And so we did a chocolate chip cookie on top with ice cream and another cookie for the bottom. And so we had ice cream sandwiches that were huge but delicious. She always goes all out every year um, making something that's just outrageously big and can get you very, very fat, which is really good. But how's everybody doing? I'm Stephanie V. You are on the mic with Stephanie V. And I'm super excited to be with you guys. So much going on, obviously, all the time. Hi, Tali. Hi, John. Hi, Arturo. You guys are all on my uh, (laughs) Facebook page here. I'm excited to share tons of information with you today. Um, And obviously, I always start out with motivation. And um, a lot of this has been going on for me lately, and I don't know about for you. Hi, Susan. It's always awesome to have you on. How are you? (laughs) I'll see you later. Adios. Um, A lot of us, it happens for a lot of us, and I've noticed now for a lot of entrepreneurs and people that are creative, is that we kind of sit back and wait for people to come to us as we have all this creative material and we're sitting on all of this stuff that we're doing because we want it to be perfect and we want everyone to see um, that it is perfect and um, I'm here to say stop waiting for them to come to you and put it out. Just put it out. You know, we have an um, Tali who just wrote her novel and her new novel, you should check it out. It is out. Go purchase it on Amazon. Um, Instead of waiting for everyone to put, um, for the record label to come to you, for the publishers to come to you, for um, the marketing team to come to you, you create it. You do it. You put it out. Um, You be the in charge of your creative process and see where it goes. Um, Nobody, some people may not, you may not ever get that knock on the door that you've been waiting for, but does that matter? because you've produced your creative art, you've put it out, it's on Facebook, it's on a creative platform where you can express yourself, where people can hear your music, Um, especially with music nowadays, guys. Um, If you are a singer and you have songs that you've been recording and you feel that they're ready to be put out, if you feel like that people are ready to hear your music and an artist as you are, then There are tons of distribution companies that you can go to and distribute your own music. That's what I do. I'm not waiting for an independent record label to come to me because guess what? I've already had that. I've been through that cycle and I've been torn in different, different locations and different, in different of who I am as an artist. So this allows you the avenue to create for yourself, to go out and hustle on your own create your own marketing, create your own plan, create your own brand, create your own avenue of what you want to be as a person in your brand. Um, Like if you're a makeup artist, um, create your own cards, go out, find your, find your artists, you know, don't wait for somebody to call you because guess what? 
They may never pick up the phone. So you're sitting at home thinking, wow, have I failed or have I just been sitting and, you know, does nobody see that I have talent? Does nobody care that I can sing? Does nobody want to see all of the drawings that I have But as an artist? No, it's not that nobody wants to see them. It's just that no one's going to pick up the phone to call you. They're going to want you to put it out there. They may not even know that you are an artist because guess what? You don't ever really speak about it. So find that website for yourself. Find that Instagram page for yourself. Find that Facebook page for your own company, your whatever you do as an artist, as a creative, as a business person, and put yourself out there. Put it out there because I guarantee you the minute you step out on a leap of faith, Someone's going to be like, hey, I need you for this. Or I didn't know you did makeup. I didn't know you sang. I didn't know you were doing, you were, you had a book out. What? Oh, I'm going to go buy your book. I'm going to go buy your salsa. Uh, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just, I just wanted just a little bit of recognition. And there you are. You never know, but you got to put it out. And I'm going to leave you with that because I'll keep going on and on and on. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to overkill it. So, you know, sometimes you just got to make the moves on your own. Don't wait for somebody to make the moves. Anyway, let's give a good clap for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> um, it's actually, I'll, I'll give you another example. It's this radio show. Um, my friend and I, John, Sharp Dress John, who tunes in as well, he's in Miami. He and I discovered, actually did this radio show together, and it was great because he gives a different perspective of, you know, the male's v version of the sports, and he's great, and he's in the radio in Miami, but he decided that he didn't want to do it along with me anymore because he's just too busy with his other stuff. That's fine. So I could have taken the opportunity to just let the radio show go, or I could have or I decided, you know what, this is an opportunity that was given to both of us. I'm going to keep it going. And here we are. I created On the Mic with Stephanie V. And you are tuning in. And I can't, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of your support. You guys can find me on Instagram at Stephanie Vara. You can find me on Twitter at Real Stephanie Vara. Um, so much is coming up for me, and I'm excited. But let's move on to Cheese Men. Come on. What is going on? There's so much, so much is going on. And I can't even tell you what I just read today. Um, Cheese Men, for all of you who are not Mexicano or Hispanic, <laughs> it means gossip. There's a lot of gossip going on, guys. And today I read that Future, the rapper Future, is planning or has thoughts of planning Russell Wilson. Hmm, go figure. I guess Sierra has been going to, has had a lot of issues with him, um, with Future and her baby's daddy, Future. And obviously, you all know that she's engaged to Russell Wilson. And, um, you know, I guess that he sent out some threatening emojis, um, maybe to shoot him, like bass footballs with guns shooting the football, um, you know. I don't know. I think it's just a bunch of hoopla, to tell you the truth. And, you know, I would be mad, too. I know he's mad that she's moved on. She got a bigger ring. She's got a baby that Russell Wilson loves. He's taking care of. And, you know, you never know what you have until it's gone. And he's lost that. He cheated on her um, with his stylist. And so, you know, she's moved on to bigger and better. So why can't you allow people to be happy when you didn't want them in the first place? Mm, I don't know. Think about it. Anyway, moving on into um, some other Cheeseman news was that the BET Awards, I don't know if you guys saw it or caught a drift of it. Um, I didn't actually get to see it, but I heard Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar killed it. Um, I heard that the Prince... Um, Prince, everyone, Jennifer Hudson did something for Prince, and she killed it. So, all in all, I think it was pretty good. Um, obviously, Jesse Williams' speech was phenomenal. There was a lot of back backlash on it. Um, but um, I feel like if you educate yourself well on what he said and how he spoke and what he was speaking about, then you'll understand the movement of our generation and... Um, cheers to Jesse Williams for having the strength to get up and actually speak his mind because a lot of people don't and a lot of people don't care. And like he said, if you're not making and if you're not helping or making movements or have suggestions to make change, then just sit down. 
please, by all means, just sit down, and that's okay. We don't need we we need movement. We don't need suggestions. And um, so, thank you, Jesse, for that. Another negative in the cheese mid zone was that, and I guess this has to do with more like sports and cheese mid, but there is a super bacteria in the waters of Rio right now, and a super bacteria that was that is sewage, sewage guys, from local hospitals. Gross. That's disgusting. We have over sixty, I don't know, thousand athletes heading over to Rio right now. Um, some of them are in the triathlon where they have to actually swim in that water in order to win an Olympic medal. So Rio isn't a lot of, I don't know, it's just really crazy how the thought of them having to go swim in this water, we have athletes going over there, the Zika virus, there's corruption. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, as an athlete... Would you actually attend? <laughs> Would you be scared? I mean, I know I've traveled to, to Brazil many times, and yes, it is beautiful. But I would be worried about the Zika as a woman. I would be worried about getting a, a, a bacteria, a super bacteria, flesh-eating disease from the water. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Would you, as an athlete, be afraid to go? Um, I know I would. I don't know. Moving right along, how's everybody doing? Again, you're listening to me, Stephanie V, on the mic with Stephanie V. Um, we are going to talk about sports now. <laughs> and you guys know that I am not, like, a super expert on sports. That was really John's, um, that was really John's forte, but I'm going to go ahead and bust into what I think. But I know right now that... The Golden State Warriors are throwing a party because not only are they going to beat the Cavs next year, they are going to win a ring because Durant has decided to join voice, forces with the Golden State Warriors. They, he is leaving the Oklahoma Thunder and he is joining the Golden State Warriors. And there has been so many memes about this guy. It is hilarious. Um, Sports Center has done so many. Um, I can't remember the other one that, but the biggest thing that I got from it is if you can't beat them, join them because the Thunder were unable to um, win against the Golden State Warriors. And, you know, so many people are like, I can't believe that he left because, you know, that's unloyal to your city and burning his jersey. But many of us don't realize that this is a this is a job. There is no loyalty when it comes to money, okay? So you're going to go wherever you're going to get the most money. And guess what? Durant did what he needed to do because he's trying to win a ring and he's trying to make more money. He is not worried about hurting anybody's feelings because guess what? His pocket's going to be full. He's going to get to buy more things. And um, yeah, he's not worried about what the Oklahoma thinks, burn his jersey or not, because guess what? He's going to have a ring next year. He's going to be with Golden State, and they're going to be the force that is bringing in that title. So I'm sure that he is not sad. He is not crying. And I think that even when he put that out yesterday, he was probably like, well, it is what it is. I'm making money. Business here, guys. Business. It's not about loyalty. Where LeBron went back to, the, to Cleveland because it was a business move. And, well, because he had issues in Miami with his wife. So we know that. Mm -hmm. Don't make it. Don't, people don't want to say that, but he did. But he went back to the Cavs because he knew that he could win a ring there. And he was going to make that team. And that's what happened. Business move, people. More money. More money. More problems. Business. That's it. So, we're going to move on to baseball. Guys, I know nothing about what's going on in baseball right now. Please don't shoot me down. I love the Astros. I don't know, but yesterday was so awesome because one of the Olympic gymnasts, Simone Biles, who's actually from Houston. Well, she's from Spring, Texas. She trains in Spring. She is going to be going to the Olympics. She is the gold medalist there probably in all four events or all round for sure. But she threw out the first pitch at the Astros game yesterday, and I'm not sure if you saw it, but it was really cool because she started out with a, I, if you don't know gymnastics talk, she started out with an aerial and then threw the ball in. I don't think there's many people that have gone out there and done a flip and done the first throw. Um, she beat out Snoop Dogg, that's for sure, because he didn't even make it across the plate. Simone, Good luck to you in the Olympics. That was dope. From a former gymnast to you, I'm excited to watch you. And in Rio, kick ass. 
Um, but if you didn't see it, it is on YouTube and um, it's been on Channel 13's uh, been showing it all over and over. It's so cute. Please, please watch it. She's so tiny. Um, but moving on to Nick Young. Um, Nick recently splitted split with um, what was that? What's her name? Uh, chick. She's a rapper. Oh God, she, the, the name just completely slipped my mind. I split my mind. But she, he's just split it from her, and um, he decides that he's going to have this huge uh, fireworks Fourth of July party yesterday. And he decides to light a firework in his hand. Now, if you guys don't know Nick Young, he is a basketball player. Most basketball players need their hands to play basketball. And uh, Nick decides that he's going to play uh, with the fireworks and light one in his hands. And it blew up. Needless to say, he still has his fingers. Thank God he wasn't meant to blow up his hand and ruin foot ruin basketball for the rest of his life over a 4th of July party. Maybe he needs to get back with his woman and stop doing stupid things. Right? <laughs> <laughs> moving, moving right along. I have only a little bit long, a little bit more time with you guys. Again, you're on the mic with Stephanie V. If you're just tuning in, I really appreciate all your support. I'm going to talk about relationships really quick. Just too quickly. You know, I only stab at it a bit. But um, I want to know, do you think women overreact or do men just not understand? Um, I'm a very emotional creature. I don't know if you guys are, but I tend to overreact or get very emotional about things all the time. And that's mo mostly because I think a lot with my heart and I know that men only think with their brains. Um, they don't get it sometimes. They don't understand why we get upset. They don't understand why we need the flowers or why we need the cards. And, you know, we tend, I know sometimes that I tend to overreact. But it's coming from a good place. So what do you guys think? Do you think we overreact or do you think that men just don't understand and it's we have to continue to explain to them our needs and, and why we get upset and why we want this and why we don't do get this. And uh, So please message me. Let me know. Tell me in the comments. Um, what do you think? Do you think it's the women or do you think it's men or do you think it's just a lack of communication between you and your couple? I'm not sure. I know... There are times, yes, that I do overreact, but I also feel like if you communicate better with your significant under, other, that sometimes those overreactions are can be limited and you can just be such a happy couple. <laughs> but what do you think? Overreact for women or do you think guys are just sometimes altogether clueless? Go figure. I don't know. Uh, moving right along. Last but not least, I wanted to talk to you guys about beauty and fashion, and I wanted to introduce to you a new product that I'm using. Last time I talked about Shea Moisturizing Products, which I use in my hair. My hair is a little bit frizzy today because it is so humid outside. But there is a new face um, serum that I've decided to try. Um, I feel like my expression lines are getting, you know, with the sun, you may not be able to see it in this, but expression lines are really big right now. And I went to Sephora and I asked them, like, what is good for, you know, toning up the skin and expression lines and tightening up? And he, um, one of the guys there, he recommended that I use Ole Hendrickson. And it's a truth serum and a collagen booster, and it has vitamin C. And this is what the bottle looks like. It was about $45, and um, I've been using it now for, like, the last maybe week. So it just started that I've used it. But already I can feel, like, maybe it's because I got some tan. I got I went swimming, so I got a little color on my face. But I do feel like it's, a, like it's maybe toning the skin. I don't know. I guess next show I'll be able to tell you if, I, if it's a yay or a nay. But if you are looking for something that is a cheap, that is cheap, it's serum, it's a vitamin C for fine lines, things like that. If you think you're getting old, I don't know. It's just something that's in my head, I guess. But um, if you want to try it out, try it. Check it out. It's called Ollie Hendrickson, and I got it at Sephora, and it smells divine. It really does smell delicious, and I, maybe that's why I'm falling in love with it. I don't know, but I will give you the results. I'll tell you if it's tightening my skin or if it's not really working at all, and it's not worth the $45, but I will give you that. Also today, guys, the fashion spotlight, it is National Bikini Day. So I don't know if you looked at my Instagram page, Stephanie Var, but I have posted one of my favorite bikinis. And um, I got it to wear in Miami, and I'm not going to tell you where I got it from because uh, my boyfriend would, would not like that. But 
It is a sexy bikini. Everybody should have a sexy bikini. Everybody should snap a picture, post it on Facebook, post it on Instagram, hashtag on the mic with Stephanie V, bikini, bikini. Let me see those favorite bikinis. Mine's black, and it is, it's a little revealing, but um, hey, if you got it, flaunt it, people. Don't be afraid to show your body. You are all beautiful, and I want to see those bikinis. So, Go ahead and post it and hashtag me or tag me in it. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> and if you haven't seen mine, go to my page. It is on my Instagram page, Stephanie Vara. Guys, there's so much more to come from me. I have a new single coming out next month called I Do It All. My show and my salsa is also coming out with a micro series called Casa de Vara. So that's going to be on Facebook. If you haven't seen it, just stay tuned for my family craziness. You are going to love it. And um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. So much more to come. Thank you for joining me on the mic with Stephanie V. I look forward to seeing you again in another two weeks. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about. Email me if you want to be on um, a fashion spotlight. Info at Stephanie Vara. Follow me on Twitter, Real Stephanie Vara. And go check out my website, stephanievara.com. Guys, thank you so much. Bessels. And here is my outro. That's all for Flip That's Pop all. Radio's On The Mind with Stephanie V. Make sure to follow Stephanie on I got some flowers media. today, guys. Woo! <laughs> Bessels, guys. See ya.